There's a story from long ago that illustrates the power of determination. Imagine a man standing at the edge of a vast desert. Beyond the endless stretch of sand lies the place he wishes to go. His journey is difficult, his path is treacherous, and every step seems to test his resolve. But the man has something within him that carries him forward, something more powerful than any external obstacle his inner determination. In our own lives, we all face deserts of different kinds challenges that seem insurmountable, goals that appear out of reach, and struggles that make us question our ability to go on. Yet, just like the man in the story, we possess the power to push forward, no matter how difficult the journey. The key to doing so lies in one simple truth. Everything depends on your inner determination. Nichiren Daishonin wrote extensively about the importance of determination. In one of his letters, he said, A sword is useless in the hands of a coward. This means that even if we have all the tools and resources we need, without the inner strength to use them, they are of no value. The power to achieve anything in life does not come from outside, it comes from within. The Lotus Sutra, a central text in Mahayana Buddhism and highly revered by Nichiren Daishonin, echoes this sentiment. It teaches that every person possesses the Buddha nature, the potential for enlightenment, within them. This means that we all have the capacity for greatness, for overcoming any challenge, and for transforming our lives. But to unlock this potential, we must first believe in it and determine to bring it forth. Nichiren Daishonin emphasized this point when he wrote, There is no true happiness other than upholding faith in the Lotus Sutra. This is what is meant by attaining Buddhahood in one's present form. Here, he's not just talking about religious belief, he's highlighting the power of inner determination. Upholding faith, in this context, means having the unwavering determination to believe in your own potential, no matter what obstacles you face. It is this faith in oneself and in the teachings of the Lotus Sutra that leads to true happiness and fulfillment. The Buddha himself, Siddhartha Gautama, is a prime example of the power of inner determination. Before he attained enlightenment, he faced numerous challenges. He left behind his royal life, endured severe ascetic practices, and faced doubts and temptations. Yet, through it all, he remained determined. It was this unshakable determination that led him to the ultimate truth and to become the Buddha. His life is a testament to the idea that with inner determination, we can overcome any obstacle and achieve the highest goals. But what does inner determination look like in our daily lives? It's the student who continues to study hard, even when the material is difficult and the exams are tough. It's the athlete who pushes through pain and exhaustion to reach the finish line. It's the person who gets up every morning, despite life's difficulties, and strives to do their best. Inner determination is the fire that burns within us, driving us to keep going, no matter what. Nichiren Daishonin teaches us that when we align our determination with the correct practice of Buddhism, we can tap into an even greater source of power. He wrote, Winter always turns to spring. This simple yet profound statement reminds us that no matter how difficult our circumstances, they are not permanent. Just as winter is followed by the warmth and renewal of spring, our challenges and struggles will eventually lead to growth and success. But to see this transformation, we must have the determination to persevere through the cold and barren winter of our lives. There is a well-known passage in the Lotus Sutra known as the Parable of the Medicinal Herbs, where the Buddha explains that, just as rain falls equally on all plants, allowing them to grow according to their capacity, the teachings of the Buddha are available to all, enabling each person to grow and develop according to their own unique potential. However, for this growth to occur, we must have the determination to absorb and apply these teachings in our lives. Just as a plant must have the will to grow towards the light, we must have the determination to seek out and embrace the wisdom that will help us flourish. Inner determination is not just about personal achievement, it's also about the impact we have on others. Nichiren Daishonin often spoke of the concept of changing poison into medicine. This idea refers to our ability to transform negative situations or experiences into something positive through the power of our inner resolve. When we face adversity with determination, 
we not only change our own circumstances but also inspire and uplift those around us. Our determination becomes a beacon of hope for others, showing them that they too can overcome their challenges. In one of his writings, Nichiren Daishonin states, a coward cannot have any of his prayers answered. This is not a condemnation but a call to action. It is a reminder that without determination, without the courage to persist, our efforts will fall short. The power of prayer, or any practice we undertake, lies in our determination to see it through, to believe in the outcome we desire, and to keep going even when the results are not immediately visible. The Buddhist concept of karma also ties into the importance of inner determination. Karma refers to the law of cause and effect, where our actions, words, and thoughts create the conditions of our future. When we act with strong determination, we create positive causes that will lead to positive effects in our lives. Conversely, when we give up or act without resolve, we create causes that lead to stagnation or failure. Therefore, cultivating a strong inner determination is essential for creating the kind of future we wish to experience. There is a powerful story from the life of Bodhisattva never disparaging, a figure mentioned in the Lotus Sutra. Despite being mocked and persecuted, he never gave up his practice of bowing to others and recognizing their potential for Buddhahood. His unwavering determination eventually led to the transformation of those who had scorned him, and they became his followers. This story illustrates the incredible power of determination not only to change our own lives but also to influence and transform the lives of others. So how do we cultivate this inner determination? The first step is to set clear goals. Just as a ship needs a destination, we need to know what we are striving for. But setting goals is not enough, we must also believe in our ability to achieve them. This belief is not about arrogance or blind optimism. It's about recognizing the inherent potential within us, the Buddha nature, as taught in the Lotus Sutra. We must develop a daily practice that reinforces our determination. For those who follow Nichiren Buddhism, this practice includes chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, reciting the Lotus Sutra, and studying Nichiren Daishonin's writings. These practices help to strengthen our resolve, clear our minds of doubt, and align our actions with our goals. But even for those who do not practice Buddhism, the principle is the same. Find a daily ritual or routine that reinforces your determination and keeps you focused on your goals. Another important aspect of cultivating determination is surrounding ourselves with positive influences. Just as a plant needs the right environment to grow, we need to be in an environment that supports our growth. This means spending time with people who encourage and inspire us, seeking out knowledge that uplifts and empowers us, and avoiding situations or influences that drain our energy or weaken our resolve. It's also important to remember that determination is not a one-time effort but an ongoing process. There will be days when our resolve weakens, when we feel tired, discouraged, or overwhelmed. But these are the moments when determination is most needed. As Nichiren Daishonin wrote, one should become the master of one's mind rather than let one's mind master oneself. This means that we must learn to control our thoughts and emotions, to keep our mind focused on our goals, and to push through the temporary discomfort or doubt. Finally, we must have patience. Just as it takes time for a seed to grow into a tree, it takes time for our efforts to bear fruit. But with patience and determination, we will see the results of our efforts. Nichiren Daishonin often encouraged his followers with the phrase, never be defeated. This is the essence of inner determination, the refusal to give up, no matter how long the journey or how difficult the path. Everything in life truly depends on your inner determination. It is the driving force behind every achievement, the light that guides us through the darkest times, and the strength that allows us to keep going when everything else seems to fail. The teachings of Nichiren Daishonin, the wisdom of the Lotus Sutra, and the examples set by the Buddha and countless other practitioners all point to this truth. Within each of us lies the power to change our lives and the world around us, but only if we have the determination to do so. So as you stand at the edge of your own desert, remember that the journey ahead, no matter how challenging, is one you are fully equipped to undertake. With unwavering determination, 
you can cross any desert, climb any mountain, and reach any destination. Your inner determination is the key to unlocking your full potential and living a life of true happiness and fulfillment.